All right, hey guys, welcome back to a, another um, another uh, video. And today we're gonna discuss the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, yes, they have been like playing really well recently. It's been really fun to watch. You know, I'm an Orioles fan myself. Um, and yeah, it's just been really a really exciting season. You know, I'm gonna go over all the details. Yes, I've been doing a baseball video before. Um, so this is the first baseball video. I'm a bit late because you know I think the Orioles. I mean, we've been playing so well for weeks now. You know, June. Was our first uh, season with the win, our, our first month uh, with a winning record in a few years since like 2017, I believe. Uh, so I'm a bit late. I just wanted to do this video after the win last night. You know, we came back um, and we beat the Tampa Bay Rays. I forgot the score, but um, I think it was like, I think it was like five three or something like that. But Ramon Urias, he had a, a really good home run, uh, two run. Uh, home run and yeah he's just been playing so well we'll get to that later but uh, yeah this is my first baseball video personally um you know you guys haven't seen me make a baseball video yet it's been like a year since i made the channel but um but yeah i'm not a big baseball fan um uh you know i you know i used to watch baseball a lot more back when the Orioles were good though you know i watched baseball back in 2014 when they made like the aocs which was like the conference finals they were one series away from getting into the world world series but i think they lost to the royals I was really young at the time, but um, and the Royals, Royals went on to lose to the Giants in the World Series. But I remember that year; that was a really fun year. You know, you had guys like uh, Manny Machado, Adam Jones, uh, you know, JJ Hardy, Nelson Cruz. That team was just stacked. If you look at it now, I mean, um, you know, all those players they were, they they were such good talents. And now, I mean, they they're and then yeah, Jonathan Scope also like they all um are around the league, all scattered around the league now, um, playing well for their teams, but um. But yeah, that was such a fun year. But since then, after that 2014 year, I didn't watch it that much. You know, I, I try to get into it. I always at the beginning of seasons try to get into it. You know, 20 I've been to a few opening day games as well. 2017 and 18, I think I went. Um, but um, you know, like I always try to get in, get into these uh, MLB seasons, but then I can't because the Orioles just suck so much. You know, they've been the worst team in the league multiple times. It's been very frustrating the last like I'd say a bunch of four like Four to seven years or so, like ever since 2014, you know, we lost all our good players, obviously. Um, and yeah, but, um, you know, 2022, it's a new season and it's just been so exciting. You know, I really um, like I, I yeah, since the, like I said, since the beginning of the season, I've been trying to watch it and uh, I've been able to keep up with it just because the Orioles are so good. Personally, I do not really keep up with the rest of the MLB as much. I just really follow the Orioles. I mean, it's too much for me to follow because I already follow the NBA soccer, obviously, and uh, the NFL and a bunch of other stuff. So um, I can't really follow all of the NBA. It's a lot, but um, you know, I find it very interesting. I watched the All Star Game and the Home Run Derby, but um, but yeah, uh, um, yeah, the Orioles, man, they're they're playing so well. Um, I think yeah. So we have a winning record actually. We have our first winning record in a while. Um, it's been so long. We've we're forty nine and forty eight. We're point five oh four win five oh five win percentage. Um, and in our last ten. We're six and four. You know, we were on a ten game win streak earlier this month. I remember that was that was such a good time. Uh, and yeah, that was that was just insane. I couldn't. I just I couldn't believe. Uh, I couldn't believe that. I mean, we haven't been on that type of win streak in so long. And yeah, just to be over five hundred. I mean, it's just awesome. We are actually in the race for the wild card spot, which is insane. I I would have never expected that um, coming this season. You know, we've such a. I mean, I, this this lineup really is a really good young team. I really like. I really like this team. You know, I'll go over the players later. Yeah, so we are fourth in the AL East. So yesterday we were fifth. We won against the Rays. We came back against the Rays, and we are ahead of the Red Sox now. The Red Sox are dot five hundred, so they're forty nine. They're like one game behind us, I guess. Um, but yeah, we are we are not last anymore, which just you know feels great. Uh, feels great. Um, you know, and we are we are like two spots off the wild card. It looks like I think uh, Tampa Bay. So. Yeah, so Tampa Bay is who is the worst wild card team. They they have a record of fifty two and forty five. Um, so yeah, we're like we're I don't know I don't I don't know if we'll get that this year, but if we can get a winning season, I'll be happy. I don't care about the playoffs. I want a winning series, um, uh, winning, um, winning uh, season. But you know the Indians or Guardians are ahead of us, um, by a few games as well. So that's one team in the way. But um, yeah, if we could make the wild card, that would be crazy. Um, but. But yeah, um, so I think yeah, so the players, um, I mean, I think Brandon Hyde, the manager's done a good job. He's got us playing really well, um, and then yeah, just it's been such a fun season because you know we've seen Adley Rutschman. Oh my God, he's he's finally in the majors. 
And then, um, you know, it's been a few years. It took a while um, since 2019. It took like three years, but he's finally called up and he's actually playing really well. You know, first month, you know, obviously he's going to be slow. Every big prospect, they usually take take a while to get adjusted to the MLB because they're in the minors for so long. And he was injured at the beginning of the season. He was going to get called up, I think, on, on opening day, but he, when he was injured, he had to go back to Norfolk and all that, uh, the AAA team. Uh, to rehab and stuff and you know now he's here and he's been playing really well he's been getting rbis um he's been getting rbis he's got a couple of home runs um you know so he's really really uh caught on yeah he's five home runs and then he 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 is he is 42 hits 18 doubles his first hit of his major league career was a triple um you know and yeah he's won games for us he has won games for us uh you know uh multiple times you know he's he's a clutch player you know i remember one game yeah, Mancini had the game-winning hit, but, you know, Rutschman, I think he got a double, I believe, um, to bring Mullins in to score. So we, we we were tied with, I think it was the Angels we were playing. So we were two two down, and we and we, we wanted to force, like, extra innings, but we ended up winning the game because um, Adley hits hits a double. He gets on the second, Mullins scores, and then uh, Trey Mancini won the game uh, and sent – at Lee home. So yeah, um Ali's been playing so well and I'm really happy to see him in the majors. And the Orioles did just have the have the first pick in the ML, MLB draft. They they drafted um Jackson Holiday, I believe is his name. Um he's an 18 year old and I'm I'm looking forward, you know, um just the rebuild is going really well and just more players are gonna come in, more young players. You know, we still have some minor league prospects who are I believe doing really well, like Grayson Rodriguez. He's out for the season, unfortunately, in um Triple A. He was playing in Triple A, I believe, but you know it's unfortunate because he was supposed to be called up. I bet by this time he probably would have been called up, but unfortunately he got his injury. So I guess hopefully we'll be seeing him next year. Hopefully he's the same player. We don't. I don't know, but um, yeah, he was looking really good. You know we have Gunnar Henderson. I've heard good things about. I don't. Yeah, I think he's a third baseman um, down in uh, the minors, and then we have Dio Hall, another pitching prospect. Because going into this season, I think a lot of people were really questioning the um pitching rotation you know that was a, definitely our weakest uh the weakest part of our team for sure you know but I think our pitchers have done decent you know we have Dean uh you know John Means has been out this whole time and we're still playing the best baseball we have in years you know I think his name is Dean Kramer I think was doing really well and then obviously Jorge Lopez is, is our all-star he's a he's a closing pitcher and he he made the all-star teams it was, it was nice to see him in the all-star game you know his journey is a like I've heard about his journey um, it's really good, you know, to see him get rewarded. You know, he's been through a lot, I guess. So, uh, you know, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. You know, uh, at least one Oriole player. I, th I felel like Austin Hayes should have been in the um, All Star game, but yeah, I think uh, Jorge Lopez. You know, he, he's probably one of the, the best closers in the game this season for sure. Um, and yeah, so, so yeah, I think like the, the, the play, just the players in our batting order have been so fun to watch, and you know, Anthony, it's. It's like all nine players in our batting order have had really good moments. Anthony Santander, Ryan Mountcastle, Austin Hayes, Ramon Urias, Runyed Odor, Trey Mancini, uh, Cedric Mullins, Ali, Ali Rutschman, obviously, and Jorge Mateo. I like Jorge Mateo a lot. And then, you know, obviously, he mixes it mixes it up sometimes. He brings in John, Arau, uh, Jonathan Arauz, I think is his name. Yeah, I, yeah, he played a few games ago. Uh, Tyler Nevin, they, he's been playing a lot, and Ryan McKenna, uh, a little bit. But um. Uh, but yeah. Uh, those are like the main players, and then yeah, Robinson Chirinos, Chirinos, he's a, a catcher as well. He's been playing a lot, but um, yeah. So I think yeah, it's just um, Anthony Santander is leading the team in home runs with seventeen. He's playing really well, you know. Santander has been a solid, I'd, I'd say, underrated player for the last few years. He, I remember him like I think he joined in like twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. You know, he's been pretty good this whole time. He's been pretty underrated. I'm not gonna lie. Um. And, you know, he wasn't, like, trade rumors or something, but uh, I think this is a good player they should probably keep. Leading in RBIs, I think, is also Santander. Yeah, he leads the team in RBIs. Uh, you know, he's – yeah, his statistics are great. He he can hit a home run. Like, yeah, he I've seen him hit a lot of home runs this season. So, yeah, obviously he's 17. Uh, you know, Ryan Mountcastle is a great player, too. I think he's a very good upcoming first baseman. I'm really excited to see more of him. He's had a great season so far. He's batting – he's batting uh, – Excuse me, he's batting. Oh wait, my bad. <laughs> I was using uh, I was watching myself on my phone, but he's batting. Um, I'm trying to find their average. I don't know why. Oh, he's batting 261. So that's really good. 
Um, but yeah, sorry for that. <laughs> sorry for that right there. But um, yeah, and then we have Austin Hayes, who personally I thought should have been an all-star. He's 12 home runs. He's very, very he's a very good fielder. Um, and he has yeah, he has 47 RBIs, and he's just been playing so well. He's batting 266. He's been playing so well. Uh, I, I've just enjoyed watching him. I think pot, potentially he's been our best player this season. Maybe Jorge Lopez is. But, um, yeah, I think uh, Austin Hayes, yeah, he's he's so good. I enjoy watching him play a lot. Ramon Urias, he was injured for a little bit earlier this month. But, um, oh, my God, like for the past week or two, like he's been playing so well. He's probably been one of our best players. He won the game for us actually last night. Um, he's won games for us. He's hitting home runs. He has 11 on the year, I believe this says. Uh, he's third baseman. And he plays – I think he plays – yeah, I think he plays third base. Yeah, and then Jorge Mateo plays shortstop and Runei uh plays second base. But, yeah, um, he's he's been great um, recently too. Runei Rodor, obviously, like I said, he's been good. Uh, he hits home – He yeah, I've seen him hit a lot of home runs. Um, and, yeah, just – he's a great, great squad player to have. I'm happy we signed him earlier, earlier this year. Trey Mancini, you know, I everybody loves him, uh, you know, I, I, uh, in the Orioles fan base. And, yeah, he's just he's been playing well as well. You know, other guys are playing well, so is he. He's batting 266. He was batting, like, 300 at one point, like, 300-something, 300 like five or something. But I guess it's gone a little down. And same with Hayes, but, yeah, it's okay. I think, um, you know, I, you know, yeah, he'll give you – like, yeah, this team, like, the players I'm naming, I mean – None of them are superstars, right? But, I mean, they're good enough to get you to the playoffs in a few years, I think. I mean, you know, like I said, the team is still young. Even Cedric Mullins, who was an all-star last year, I mean, he's still young. So, so yeah, that's that. Um, Yeah, and obviously Cedric Mullins. I mean, he's not having as good as of a season as he was last year in terms of batting. But, I mean, obviously um, st- stealing bases, I think he's been – I think he's one of the best. Uh, 30, 21 stolen bases. You know, we know we got 30 of those things last year. And the Jorge Mateo, who I think is the fastest player in the league. It's it's awesome to have him. I'll, I'll go over that next. But, um, yeah, Cedric Mullins has 21 steals so far, which is great. You know, obviously last year he had 30. Um, so, yeah, I love Cedric Mullins just because his fielding is amazing, actually. His, his outfielding is amazing. And then, um, you know, batting, not as great this year. But, you know, he can still – he's still he's still solid. But, you know, he's top of the order usually. But, yeah, I think um, just fielding, he, that, that's probably one of his best attributes. And, yeah, I just enjoy watching him play. Now, Jorge Mateo, like like I said, uh, this is a very fun player to watch because, you know, he'll just – I mean, he can steal bases easily. He basically – I think in MLB The Show, I don't have the game, but he, he has 99 speed, I believe. And, yeah, he's just insane. Like, yeah, he can get you a triple. I mean, if he just – yeah, it's I don't even know how to describe him, but he he's so fast. Um, And, you know, he, he steals bases. He can steal third as well. Um, and even when he's fielding, I think he's had such a good year in terms of fielding. I've seen so many highlight plays of him, like Mateo's, um, jumping grab or something on the MLB app. Like I can't, I don't have time to watch all these, um, uh, Orioles games, but then, you know, I watch the highlights and on the MLB app, you know, he has all these highlights of Mateo making these very good fielding plays, you know, at shortstop, which is insane. You know, he, he even uses his speed when he's on defense. Um, I saw the other day, you know, he had to dart into the outfield to you know, dive and get the ball, which is insane. So, yeah, just a highlight player right there. Jorge Mateo is a highlight player. Just crazy. Um, and then Ali Rushman, we already obviously talked about him. Um, but, yeah, um, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to look at the schedule for the Orioles, you know. I can't really, like, talk about other MLB teams because, you know, because I don't really have much knowledge about them. I really only have good knowledge on the Orioles, if I'm going to be honest. Maybe a little bit of the Nationals because, you know, they're nearby. But, um. Yeah, so we play the Rays tonight. Um, we play the the Rays. Tyler Wells is pitching. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get a win there. You know, uh, Rays. Yeah, we beat them last night. Obviously, and then we have the Rays again on Thursday. After that, I believe we have the Yankees once again. That's gonna be tough. Oh no, we have the Reds. We have the Reds. Okay, so yeah, straight out of the All Star break, we had to play the Yankees. Man, I hate playing the Yankees. Um, you know, we did beat them once, which was nice. At least we got one win out of that. I think the Yankees are the best team in the league. Um. But yeah, so then we play the Reds. That should be that shouldn't be too bad, I think. Um, for a few days, three days, I believe. And then we start August against the Rangers. That's not I mean, we're that's just, they're not they're not great either. Um so that's two not so great teams we play there. Um and then 
after the Rangers, we play the Pirates another. So, I mean, we need to take advantage of this opportunity. We still have two more games against the Rays, and then we have these really easy teams we can try and get wins from, you know, like the Reds and um, <clears throat> Reds. Uh, I think it was uh, Rangers and the Pirates. I mean, that's like you need to get you need to get those wins. Uh, and then after that, we have the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays have been good this season. They have a 50-win record. And then the Red Sox. The Red Sox haven't been great. That's going to be a crucial series because it's a divisional one. Um, you know, that's in August. So, yeah, going into August, I'm feeling confident. Um, and, yeah, I'm just really excited uh, to see uh, what's to come of this team. You know, um, and even if we do, even if we do kind of fold and drop off, I'm still going to be happy with the season because this is this has been the most excited I've been about like baseball in a while, uh, Orioles baseball in a while, because, you know, we've sucked for so long. And finally, you know, here this team is, is it's a special team. And, you know, hopefully after this year, we're obviously I don't think we're going to win, win it all. But we could get to the playoffs, but, you know, hopefully we can build more. You know, we still have those guys in the minors who are going to come up. And it's a very bright future for the Orioles. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys, on my first baseball video. I uh, enjoyed uh, recording it. Um, but, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, maybe I'll be doing Orioles videos in the future. I don't know. But just the Orioles. I, I can't really do the MLB. But um, I might be doing Orioles videos maybe maybe later next month, um, depending on, like, where they are and stuff. But, yeah, enjoyed this video and, and enjoyed making it. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next month.